Ah, good evening, my friends. It is I, Mark SW. You know, of all the special holidays, Halloween has always been a favourite of mine. Uh, it's true, I'm not into horror, uh, particularly blood and gore, but um, I like it because it's one of those holidays that you can celebrate with friends more. And uh, this year, my friends have been talking about sharing some scary stories. And so this year, I've written a scary story and I'm going to share it with you guys. I call it End of the Line. I got the idea from the short story The Signalman by Charles Dickens. Uh, any other similarities to events or people living or dead is completely coincidental. Before I begin, I should point out this is the first time I've written a scary story. So if it doesn't scare you, well, please be nice anyway. But what would be nice if you could give this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And so, if you're sitting comfortably with your Halloween candy, then I shall begin. A long time ago, there was a small town called Smokeville. It's called Smokeville because during autumn and winter they get lots of fog and mists. Outside the town, is a small railway bridge. And not far from the bridge is a small signal box. And in the signal box lived an old signalman known as Old Jenkins. He spent many years setting the points and changing the signals for the trains that were coming in and out of the town. But in October 1925, everything changed. The people of Smokeville were suffering from an unknown disease, not as bad as Covid, but still very nasty. Vital medical supplies were needed. However, there was a difficulty. A fearsome storm was taking place. It rained for many days, and the winds were getting stronger. The thunder and lightning were so close, it was only a matter of time before the town suffered a power cut. And worst of all, the heavy rains had flooded the roads, making it impossible for cars and vans to travel in and out of the town. The whole town was cut off, but there was only one way in and out left. The railway. Old Jenkins looked at his watch. In 25 minutes time, a train carrying the medical supplies would go past his signal box and will arrive at the town station. Even with the strong rain, the train was still on time. 20 minutes to go. Old Jenkins pulled the lever to set the signal to all clear when suddenly he heard a loud bang! He then heard a creaking metal sound that made him shiver with fear. Could it be that lightning has struck the bridge and now it's in danger of collapsing due to the high winds? He had to investigate. Old Jenkins put on his coat and went outside into the stormy night. Although the bridge wasn't far, it took time for him to reach it because the wind was so strong it was almost as if it was pushing him back. He was halfway there when, despite the noise of this hellish weather, he heard another metallic sound. Not a creak, but a crash, followed by a splash. As he arrived, his worst fears were confirmed. The bridge was out! Old Jenkins looked at his watch. The train was due in 15 minutes. He had to stop it. He knew that it would take him another five minutes to get back to the signal box. It would be too late to change the signal to danger, but he would still have time to set the points and divert the train away from the bridge. As he reached the signal box, he heard another sound. A door slamming shut. He tried to open it, but it wouldn't. He tried using his key, but it wouldn't go into the lock. He knocked on the door, he banged on the door, he kicked the door, but it wouldn't open. Even the windows wouldn't smash. Someone 
or something was preventing him from entering the box. Exhausted from trying to get in, old Jenkins could do nothing but watch in horror as the train thundered by towards oblivion. Old Jenkins reached the scene of the disaster. He climbed down the cliff edge towards the wreckage, even though he wasn't a good swimmer. He was determined to see if there were any survivors. Unfortunately, it was a big mistake and his last. The strong winds pushed old Jenkins into the raging waters. He tried to reach the land, but he never made it. It was all in vain as well, as there were no survivors of the train wreck. Some of the medical supplies were recovered, but it wasn't enough to save the people of Smokeville. Those that were unable to be treated perished. Those that were immune to the illness left the town, hoping to run away from this tragic nightmare and erase it from their memories. And now Smokeville is nothing more but a ghost town. Legend now says that anyone who visits the signal box outside the town can sometimes hear the spirit of old Jenkins banging on the door, desperately trying to get in to divert the train in time. The end. And that is my scary Halloween story. If I have scared you, then I am both sorry and amazed. <laughs> if I haven't scared you, then keep your criticisms to yourself, okay? But that is my contribution to Halloween this year. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, do give this video a thumbs up. And like I said, if you're new to my channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Happy Halloween and I'll see you next time, over and out.